What's up guys? I'm going to do a field strip and a lubrication oil and lubrication video on this uh, 1911. If I can find my shit. Here it is. Not a cleaning because it's clean. But when your guns sit for a long time, believe it or not, that oil and lubrication eventually dries up. Okay, this is my 1911 GI. This is my favorite 1911 to take apart because uh, it's the standard 1911. And if, uh, you know, if you see my other videos, oh yeah, the barrel and the ejection port was getting all scratched up, so I just took the paint off with a buffer and I used 300 grit sandpaper and lightly made it a brush looking stainless ejection port. The barrel's still the same, it's just the ejection port of the barrel, that's all. Looks good. Uh, what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is uh, take the magazine out. It's not a clip, it's a magazine. Uh, okay, and it has rounds in it. And then we're going to check for safety. There's nothing in there. It's a real nice 1911. And the next thing I'm going to do is take my ring off, because that's not good. Scratch your gun on. Okay, the gun is safe. And there's nothing in it. As you can see, nothing. Okay. Oh, uh, someone asked me, what's your opinion of nothing fancy? Well, I don't have an opinion of them. I really can care less. Okay. The guy, you know, I think he's good for, he's a military man, you know, he's got a lot of experience with, uh, you know, out in the field and all that. He's good, if you're a military guy and you want advice, that's the guy I would watch, you know what I mean? Um, my channel's for homeowner, residential gun owners. This is what my channel's about, okay? So, I, I really don't have an opinion of nothing fancy. The only thing I can see is he loves Glocks, which I don't blame him, they're very really nice, but he kind of puts some, he favors them. No matter you know, no matter what the review is, it seems like uh, he kind of just slips it in there that you know that the Glock always comes out on top. But you know that's his opinion. You know, he's uh, everyone has their favorite guns. I like 1911s. He don't like 1911s because of weight. I don't worry about weight because I'm not a military guy. I'm not a soldier, and I'm not wearing my firearm 24/7. So. I guess a guy in his position, he needs to worry about weight. I don't need to worry about weight. I live in a neighborhood. I carry when I'm in a bad situation. I carry when I'm in bad neighborhoods. Uh, I don't carry all the time because I don't. Okay. I carry when I'm going to a Section 8 housing project and stuff like that to do work. Ah, that's all I got to say. I don't want to eat up too much time talking about him. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is going to disassemble this thing. The first thing you do is push the uh, plug down, swing this to the left, and take your take down plug out, recoil spring, twist it out. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do a lubrication video on this. Take your bushing out. Okay, cock, cock the hammer back, bring it to the first notch right there, and the sucker comes right out. What I love about Springfield is it's their uh, firearms are lifetime warranty. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, you take your slide stop pin out. And uh, there's your frame, the steel frame. And uh, there's your guide spring guide rod. It's not a full length one because it's a uh, GI, GI mil spec. This is an old timer replica. So. And then you just slide your barrel out. There's the work I did on the barrel. Can't wait to shoot it and see how it performs. Probably going to perform better. And uh, here's your slide. Okay. Now, I'm not cleaning it. All I'm doing is lubricating. I'm looking in there and it's kind of dry. It's dry. And in the track, there's no grease in the track. So this is what I do. Uh, what I'll do is... I use oil and grease. No oil I use on here. I put a drop here, and a drop on here, drop in there, and just 
rub it with my fingers. The worst thing you could do is over oil an automatic. Could cause it to fail and misfeed. Too slippery. That's it. That's all. That's all I do. Okay? Just coat it like that. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, now I'll use my grease. Okay? You could, like, you want to coat everything. Okay? What the fuck? Here's a takedown plug. Just coat it, cause it's just it's just good for the steel in general. You know, steel is like a sponge. Steel has pores in it. Uh, I was a welder for a long for a pretty long time, and um, you learn about steel. You have to to pass the tests. And uh, steel is just like a sponge. It has pores like your skin. So you want to keep everything lightly oiled. It's like a moisturizer, just like your skin. And. Uh, preserves everything but like I said just just your gun sitting in the cabinet the oil will dissipate and evaporate eventually okay that's all I use the oil for now I use grease the only place I use grease is is in the guide rails I'll put four dots of grease I'll put the dot there dot there you don't want to go too, too close to the end like kind of come in if you go too close to the end, when you cock it back and forth, the grease comes out all over the place. And that's pretty much it. Okay? This gun's all oiled. It's all oiled in here. I already did all that because there ain't a lot of time on the video. So, now my barrel's oiled. Now you want to, as far as the inside of the barrel goes, which I ain't ready for because I didn't have it set up because I'm an extra large asshole. Uh, all you got to do is just get one of these, tap these little pads. And then put put a little oil on them, just like that. You only need a teeny bit, and you put it in there, and just turn it and lightly coat the inside of the barrel so it don't get pitted up with rust from the moisture. That's it. Now that's that's oil. Now I'll put my barrel back in. Recoil guide rod, that's oil. Put that back in. Okay, now you can put your frame on. Frame's got the grease on it, right? Barrel link, make sure that's up. Okay. Now we're going to find the barrel link, which I can see it already. It's lined up. Oil that up with your fingers just a little bit. Push it in. Rip it up. First notch, push it through, bring it forward, put your thumb safety on, put your, uh, oops, sorry, pushing in first, like that, recoil guide spring, S spin it, push it down, spring this back over to the right, and you can either push it down or push it till it snaps. I don't like to push it till it snaps because it wears us off. But you can always buy a new uh, guide spring cap. It's no big deal. Christ, they probably cost next to nothing. Now we're going to do a function, a function test. Make sure everything's okay. We're going to take the thumb safety off. Rack it a couple times. Fire it. Okay, and we'll test the fire pin like you know, like we always do. You can use a pen. Drop a pen in upside down, pop the hammer back, fire pin's working, and that's it, she's ready for storage. Okay, now what I'll do is I have a, see it's nice and wet, you want that to be wet, and then we're good. So there's a real quick field strip and a, sh and a quick lesson how to oil and lubricate your 1911, or any gun for that matter pretty much the same principle. And have any excess oil sticking out, I'll just rub it all over the gun. But that's pretty much it guys, that's all the time I got because my videos can only be 10 minutes because I'm not I'm not a special person, okay? So let me know what you think of this one.